Hello and welcome to yet another Surrey Dolmen Prayer Flicking Guide. This one's an advanced one, so if you want to get good first, go and watch my beginner one and come back to this. Uh, the first one's way simpler, but I'd say this is like double the efficiency learning this one. It's a bit harder, but when you get the hang of it, it's good. So I'm just going to jump straight into the inventory setup and gear setup because last time I forgot to put the gear setup in there properly someone mentioned in the comments so I'll do it this time and the inventory is slightly different from the other guide so yeah I'll put that up now and we'll go through that. This is my inventory setup, we've got the blowpipe, bring adamant darts, you don't need rune at Sara, there's just no point. 5-6 to six range pots, if you get low just take one every two kills rather than every kill, it doesn't make that much difference. We'll bring 11 to, I don't know, I say 9 to 11 staminas and then 7 restores is what I bring because you're basically playing to get more prayer drops off of Sara. So you just bring more potions of what you wouldn't be able to get off of Sara. Whereas you can get brews and you can get restores from Sara or instead of brews you'll be able to get uh, food as well. So don't worry about that. You can get bones to peaches and the minions drop monkfish as well. So you'll be able to get food eventually, somehow. So I'll bring 70 at least. Bones to Peaches, if you're being there on a long trip, because towards the beginning you'll use quite a few up. Um, and yeah, you can sort of mix around the restores and stamina as much as you like, but eventually this is probably going to be the best set out, maybe. I think, yes, so 5 to 6 range pots, 11, 9 to 11 uh, stamina, and then 7 to like 9 restores. It's up to you, but that's what I bring. Now, the gear. Basically, this is just. The best gear I can bring. Um, I don't bring any defense at Sara since you're prayer flicking it all, so you just bring your absolute best DPS. Obviously mixed in with the god items, so I bring the banners boots, Saradomin chaps, and a Zamrock dehyde. I bring the range cape just because I like the prayer bonus it gives you, but you can bring accumulator, ACB or rune crossbow. Um, 300 to about three, uh, 450 diamond bolts. 450 is if you're going to be there for a really long time, but I'm pretty sure I've used 300 in like. A pretty short trip before so I don't know there's been a few times I've run out of bolts somehow and I was I was confident I had a lot on me so there's been a few times I've been baffled let's put it that way so just bring at least 300 diamond bolts I bring the book of law gives great prayer great um range offense so definitely bring that and then the archer's ring and barrow's gloves so what you do with the two trial my teleports you just use one teleport there revert and then you've got a home tally tab right there. And then you just uh, make your way to Sara. So here's two clips just so I can show a comparison of this guide compared to the other one. You can see how much less prayer you'll be using. As you can see here, my prayers are up constantly, just always going. And then this one, even though Eagle Eye is still up, you can see how much less prayer I'll be using. Because look, above my head, half of the time, there's no bloody prayer there. All right. And then when you get good, you can prayer flick, like you can one tick flick between the range and mage one. So you're only using Eagle Eye. But um, I wouldn't recommend using that just yet. I'll teach you how to do that stuff later. But yeah, this is way better. So let's get into how to do it. So the goal is to get Bree to attack you one tick before Growler. And that will allow you to do two prayer flicks on both of them in that short space of time. So the rest of the time there's no prayers above your head. So I'm just going to get into how you can actually get them to set up like that at the start of the kill. We're going to be standing in the exact same square as before, that one right there. You can see where it is compared to the door. It's basically the one next to two tiles with like black dots on it. But we're waiting for Zulyana to spawn right now. When you're first doing this, don't worry about shooting Zulyana the first time. Just be looking at where Bree's going to be spawning. And you need to be running the exact same time Bree looks at you. Not when she spawns, but when she looks at you. So she'll spawn and then look, twist, and she looks at you. That's when you need to run the exact same time she does that. I play it a few more times in like slow motion and then in fast motion just so you can get it. See, I click as soon as she twists at me. And then I start running to the very corner as well. You want to run all the way to the corner. Here's it in fast motion. See, I'm clicking exactly when she twists and looks at me. You can see the time in it is as well. So it's like spawn, twist, and then you're running exactly. Then you'll get it easily. It's so easy to set up. It's actually easier than any other ones. Now let's try and get a rotation down. So we'll start off with like the first half of the room. So you're waiting for Bree to spawn. There you go. You run. As soon as she looks at you, throw up pray melee. Sometimes you have to wait until you get around the back of Starlight before she attacks you. So just leave it up until like one tick after you run underneath her. And then you can turn that off. Make sure you shoot Zulyana so it'll make your character automatically flow into the corner. You'll know what you're doing by this point. And then when you hit the corner, as you come out, that's when Bree will start attacking you. So get your prey range up and then wait for it to start attacking. You can look at her if you want to. And as soon as you see her start pulling her bow, go straight to Prey Mage and then turn Prey Mage off. I'll show you in a second what it sounds like and the speed you do it at. But yeah, you're waiting for it to shoot again. Prey range, Prey Mage, off. 
it looks like the way I'm saying it is way faster than what is happening in the video, but it does get quite hectic when you're first trying to do this method. So you do go again, you're shooting her, don't hit the top corner because that will make them attack on the same tick. So you can stand anywhere but apart from the top corner. You can stand one step before and it's fine, but if you hit the top corner, they will attack on the same tick. Let's go through this a bit faster then. You're waiting for Bree to turn at you. That's when you run at the same time. Then you're underneath Starlight, keep your prey melee up until then. When you hit the corner, get your prey range up a bit earlier, and then you can wait till you see she shoots her bow. Prey mage, straight back off again, and then you do the same thing. Don't hit the corner, and then shoot. Click on the map, prey range, prey mage, off. Wait until your next shot, shoot, click on the map, prey range, prey mage, off. And then you're using way less prayer. Look at this. Prey range, prey mage, off. You like that? So I'm going to let you hear and see how fast I'm clicking the prayers. So you just get a gist of how little prey you use and sort of how the timing is. So yeah, you go range, mage, off. That's it. Like you just listen. Ready? That's all it is. And you use barely any prayer. It does use a little bit of prayer. And since you've got eagle eye on it, it will be draining a bit. And then if you get good at that, just doing a simple, you can do the one tick where you turn on the range, turn it off, and then straight to mage, and then turn that off. And that uses zero prayer at all. So you're only using eagle eye, basically. So it's just prey range, straight off, and then to mage, like that. So this is basically it, like this. You just got to wait that second for the range prey to come up, and that sometimes fucks you, like that. Sometimes messes you up, because you anticipate it differently but yeah it's on off on off on off on off on off on off but it'll be at this speed like on off on off on off on off click run on off on off click run on off on off so this will take a while to get used to doing a one tick one but here it is during the kill you can see in slow motion how it works and then here it is in normal motion, just click on, off, on, off. It takes a while to get used to that, I'm not going to lie, it took me a while. But yeah, that's basically it for that. And now we're going to get on to ticking up the minions. So we're going to start with a slightly easier and less scary method. So what we're doing is we're waiting to see when Zoyana's going to die. So I can see next hit will probably be the one. There's my next hit. Finish off my Mage Prey. And then when I've finished that, go straight to my inventory, get my Blowpipe and click Starlight. So your player will stand still. Finish off your prayers, and then I missed the melee one here, I went a bit too late. But now they're ticked up in this rotation of range, mage, then melee, all back-to-back -back ticks. So three ticks in a row is range, mage, melee. But here is going to be slower than I'm saying it, obviously. But yeah, that's how you get the gist of it. And then because they're all one tick apart, you can easily one tick this, as you can see now. I'll go like that. And there's the one tick method I was showing you earlier. And they're perfectly lined up for that. So you're taking no damage whilst only using eagle eye, which is pretty cool. I'll show you this in fast motion in a second. I'm just going to let this clip play out. And there you go. And then you just go off and finish over them too, which you can obviously work out how to finish off them too on their own. Here it is in normal motion. So I know the next shot is going to kill her. When is it? Oh, it's now. Finish off my prayers. Get my blow apart quickly. Shoot at starlight. It'll make me stand still. And it'll get it in this rotation of range, mage, melee. Range, mage, melee. Perfectly. Range, mage, melee, so this will allow me to one tick it like this. So I'll just let the rest of this clip play out of the one tick in, and I'll go on to a normal motion video in a second to show you how to do it. If it's the one where you shoot at Starlight and you don't run towards her, you do this. It's range to mage to melee. So it does get a while to get used to this, but you can literally just do this standing still like I'm doing now and just get used to it. So it's on, off, on, off, on, off. On, off, on, off, on, off. <laughs> it sounds really weird saying that. This is the slightly scarier method, but it does make the flicking at the end a bit easier. So what you're doing is as soon as you kill Zilyana, instead of standing there and then attacking Starlight, you actually run at Starlight. Because normally you would shoot Zilyana, you'd run, you have that little intermission, and you'd pray, pray against the two minions. But because you're cancelling out that, you're running straight at Starlight, she would attack you just before them to do that prey rotation. So it would make Starlight attack you one tick before Bree or Growler. So as you can see here, I kill Zilyana, and then I run straight at her, and that's just before the other minions I would normally have to flick against them. So it perfectly lines up for melee to range to mage, and they're all against each other in a row, which makes the flicking easier, as I'll show you in a second. As you can see, all you have to do is go melee to range to mage, which is a bit easier than before, because you have to go range 
to mage which is left and then right all the way over to melee which is quite hard to do one tick in when you're not used to it so yeah learning this one's definitely easier because you just go from right to left and it does make that a little bit simpler so let me show you this in fast motion back in normal motion now so i can choose about to die finish off my mage flick run at starlight that making her attack me one tick before brie making it a three tick cycle of melee range mage melee range mage so i'll show you how to do this with a bit better sound you can see it's simpler and you don't have to do this and move all the way across the melee like that because it does make it a bit awkward and you can miss it whereas if you do it the other way it's literally way easier so the second method a bit scarier because you have to run at starlight and sometimes it looks like Zuliana's dead when she ain't and you can take a hit and you can fuck up, your, fuck up everything and you get a bit messed up and you teleport out and you're like why but this is way easier than see like I just missed it then I've done this quite a lot and then when you get good at this, it's a good thing you can literally just practice doing this all day. All day, son. And then you can go around your prayers like this. Using no prayer at all. That concludes my advanced Saradomin guide. I hope it helped. I hope there's some points in here that you could sort of pick up on. One main thing I do want to stress is do not try to do all of these things I just said in the first trip. Like, unless you've done a load of one tick flicking before and all that, then go ahead. But if you're not used to most of the stuff I just said, definitely do not try to do it all in one go. To break it down into sections, I'd say get really used to the beginner guide. Then come and learn this first part of uh, not leaving your prayers up all the time and just doing this. That's playing in the background. Get really used to doing that. And then get used to getting the minions to line up the non-scary way. And then you can just flick them without one tick and then just flick them all in a row. Then after you get used to that, I guess you can then start learning how to one flick, um, one tick flick, bring growler during the kill. And then after you learn that, you can learn the scary method at the end, which isn't that scary after you learn it. Which is when you run at um, starlight and then you can flick all of them with that easy rotation of flicks rather than then having to go back and forth on your prayers. So yeah, definitely don't try to do this all in one go. Learn it in little stages and then uh, eventually you'll piece it all together and Zuliana will become really efficient and you can pretty much just stay there forever. So I'll probably just see you at Zuliana at some point because you'll never fucking leave. I'll tell you that much. Go get your hills and pets if you're lucky enough.